Irish to sure because if a man of it snowed and rained, you'd the other bit over you it run down the the, the, uh, the channels, you know. But having icicles in my beard. And uh, and I wasn't the only one that that happened to. And you know, if you'd have broke the bloody icicle, then you would have just clean. broke clean, you think you got a pair of scissors and cut it. That's true. You know, and uh, but that's the way it was. And I, it was March before the kids' seven was rebuilt, and they were transferred into kids' seven then from kids' 22, which was just a, it was a field with a piece of wire around it. And two dozen Brits in the inside of it. And every man was inside the kids. And that was it. Uh, I was talking to you as well, and uh, George, George, always seen him. George's, uh, uh, I was cute. Look at the little history of George's week. Uh, come on, uh, well, here, one day, uh, call over there. It was it kids two, just opposite. Kids, those kids. Oh, I faced this. Uh, it was. No, it wasn't kids two. It was. Uh, kids five. No, five was a week ago. <laughs> They're old and they can't remember, you see. He says, I'm going to give you everything. I, you know, this, this is going to go up. And I want to get you people set up in fire. Adam's woman not come out. Uh, what do you call him? Harry uh, Fitzy? Harry Fitzy. But that's not the same by now. Aye, that's him. Uh, that's, that's him. Yeah. 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 He came out and uh, he, he said he had, he had sent for Adam. Adam wouldn't come out. Adam's refusing to come out. And George the says, well, you tell, you tell that bastard Adam that I court martial him. If that cage doesn't go up when I give the order, I court martial him. And um, anyway, every, the whole place is burnt except Adam's cage. He didn't even attempt to burn it. At least that pipe, everything gone. So, uh, oh, we he, he said he couldn't burn it. They, they weren't able to burn it. He said he put his book away too. They claimed the police were on, cutting them off so we couldn't get up the top of uh, They said that they, the, they couldn't get up to us. They were all the cages. We had only had a year. With the finish up of it yeah. all anyway, there it was. There was, there's the way it finished up. And then <coughs> after that, there are comments. Was there's a lot of there's been a, there was a lot of crime in terms of sad times. There was a man from this <coughs> city, which I'm sure most of you would have known, Sean Keenan, a very old Republican from the 30, 40 period too, right up. And uh, I mean, I was in the White House the morning, this morning in particular. It's a type of psychological thing that was going on. And um, when Sean was talking to me. He and I were talking, I'd known Sean from as a child, through my father, you know. And, uh, the next thing was, uh, I'd, I'd finished washing and shaving, and Sean finished off, and the two of us was coming back out of the toilet block to walk to the huts. <coughs> and I was in the very first hut beside the toilet block, and Sean was the very first hut as in the main gate. And as we were walking up towards my, the hut that I was in, this screw shoot it down, Sean Keenan, the governor wants you. Now that meant two things. It was meant that it was either bad news or you will have released. Some of the two, that's normally what the governor wanted you for, right? Um, but it was strange to his deal but at the at the Transline at three, the outside with the screws where they were. And you spoke through the wire, you see. So I walked up with Sean, you know. And, uh, and I had heard on the news before I came out to come into the voice room that there was a man shot dead in Derry. <coughs> and uh, I, I immediately related that to Sean for some reason. I mean, but I never said nothing to Sean. Walked up, and when I got up, Tuesday I'll come out of the trance line and come over, and he said to Sean Keenan, well, he would have knew Sean. He would have knew him from. Uh, the eye, and also from the authorities, they've been a member of the prison staff, mm -hmm. the thing, they have been dealing with them. <coughs> and Sean says to him, that's me, he says, I just come up to tell you, he says, your son comes, but you're dead and dying. 
per fare i sogni, io sto un po' dove non mi fai non mi fai capire, 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 non You were left. I mean, I had a cousin, Tom and Shag and Potter's care, and I was open in the middle of the night uh, by a, a P.O. Lord to tell me about that. Uh, and the reason he had done it, apparently, this, I don't know, but any man was in the prison. Rockham wasn't the worst, but apparently he was there from the 50s and he had a relationship with the boys. But he, he came in to tell me that I uh, shows I wouldn't be getting the news. And I was in Kate's 22, I got that news, but I can't, my friend and I did. But taking that all out of it, that's the type of thing I would do on. And there it was, and terribly ended, and here we are. Uh, I, I, like all, all Republicans, welcome to the, uh, the 69th situation. Um, as much as I prefer that, that I've seen it. That, but for, for the comedy word as the day, that's the sad part of it at all to me as an Irish Republican. Um, I mean, if you just take, we were speaking <coughs> that way, if you take our commitment to the Republic as Irish Republicans, uh, was to remove the British presence from Ireland. And when you take those prison years that I experienced uh, and the ones that come after my release, and you take the generations, the generations before it, and, uh, and if you put it all, look at it all in its entirety, and what we stood for as Irish Republicans, and if you read our Constitution, right, our mandate had come from the first to all, which I'm sure you are all aware of, and uh, our own army constitution states that we were duty bound to surrender our armaments and our man power to the first government elected by the people of the 32 counties, free from outside of the uh, interference or not reason. Now, here we are today, and the, 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 the whole history has been our brushed out. This particular phase of Irish history has been our first day trying to be buried. There's a whole interpretation put on it that our struggle, that our struggle was about equality. Uh, equality. Now, I don't know, all I know is when I was a child, uh, I'm being very aware of what I am, and I classed myself as an Irish Republican. There's those who may not class me as that. But, and like most people, I have paid a price. Uh, and it was of my choosing, <coughs> uh, and I have no regrets about any of it. My biggest regret is that we didn't achieve what we've set out to achieve, because I believe that, we're, that in the, all the periods of our history, we were, we, this is the closest we've ever come to achieve a national freedom. And I question whether those people who are claiming to be uh, representatives of the Manchester people. The Irish people and the Cook and the Chick and the Dossie to claim themselves as Irish Republicans. I question who they're working for. Uh, and indeed, it, it just bewilders me. It bewilders me. And, uh, and there you have it. And here I am. And I'm very thankful to be here. Was it, was it worth it? I don't not for where it is. As an Irish Republican, it's been worth it. Because this fight isn't over. Yeah. You know, freedom is yet to be gained. And what I am aware of, which we are all aware of, is that while Britain puts claim to this island, there's always going to be those who are going to oppose that presence. There's always going to be English prisons, just like today, just like what you're going to hear from this one, what he's went through. Uh, and what you've heard, what I went through, when you hear from what Angelus went through, and that, that's going to continue. And we ought to march 
children, we ought to have heard the unborn of their saving to see this finished. So it's far from finished, in my opinion. Um, the biggest regret I have that I'm at the age of that, I always be so down. <laughs> Well, what do you want to hear? Well, it's a again. So, there's where I am with it. So, well, thank you now. Thanks for listening.